Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be telling you about my braces experience. As you can tell, I've now got braces and they are much better than what I had when I got them fitted, obviously. I was so nervous about it and so anxious that I was going to, like, it was going to really hurt. And I worked myself up about it and I literally didn't need to. I'm talking through my my braces experience but before I do that I just wanted to say um happy new year to you all I'm sorry I haven't been on here for a while um I've had a lot going on and yeah I hope you all had a good new year and you had a good Christmas I've probably spoken to you since Christmas but anyway if I haven't seen you since then hope you had a good Christmas um and yeah I hope that you've made some new year's resolutions so that maybe you could try and you know get some this year whether it's start eating healthier or start going to the gym or I don't I don't know join a club or something I don't know but whatever it is I hope you manage to smash it this year and hope that 2019 brings you health and happiness this year and yeah braces um I have always been terrified of like I thought they would really really hurt and I really wasn't um looking forward to having them if I'm quite honest with you I knew that I needed them I knew that I wanted them but I just wasn't ready for the pain um, so I started the process of having braces when I was at the dentist and the orthodontist um, when I was back in Surrey. So we've been in Cheshire nearly two years in May, which is absolutely crazy. Um, so that would be, I'd say probably about a year I've been on the waiting list. It's been very hard and very like long waited. It's been very like a long process. Um, and obviously when I moved up here, they couldn't do it because I had to come off the waiting list in Surrey and come on a new one up here and it was very very annoying so I had to start the whole process all over again and it was highly annoying. Once I'd gone onto the waiting list and it was my turn obviously I went along and they kind of measured my mouth and they used these kind of um it was like sort of like a purple glue I think it was purple anyway it was like a very very runny sort of um like sort of like put I don't know if that's the word you use but it was very like is very much like put and they put it in like a very like a mold for your teeth and they basically push it up to the roof of your mouth and on the bottom and um, set as well and they make sure that like when they make the brace or whatever it is then they make sure they get the gaps right and make sure that it's all in place and all perfect for you um so that happened that wasn't too bad i did kind of gag a little bit because it was very like hard and you had to kind of like crunch down on it obviously my teeth now are very hard and um, very sore um but yeah that was like a few weeks ago and then i went down to surrey and then we had all the process still going through i then had to go back for another appointment to make sure that my teeth were good it was all okay um so i went along and they said yep yeah, we can do the braces for you and they just told me that i have to keep off sweets and chocolate and i've got to keep off like other things like that like very hard foods like um, like bread that are very like you have to pull a lot of the times um, so like baguettes I probably wouldn't be able to eat um, and because I, re I really like my bread so that's going to be a really like difficult for me and cereal I like like Cheerios and that sort of thing so I can't really eat that um, so there's a lot of foods that you can't eat they're not saying don't eat chocolate at all they're just saying in very small like minimal amounts and like treat yourself once a week or whatever so on tuesday which was the 9th of january i had my braces fit and it was very very exciting i can assure you that now or was it wednesday wednesday the 9th i'm not sure um and yeah it was it was okay i got them fitted it was turned out to be about a half an hour appointment and um, it wasn't too bad actually i was working myself up so bad and I have these, I don't know if they're called like episodes, but I tend to go really dizzy and I tend to get like lots of like black dots in my eyes. Um, so that's what I had when I came out. I think it's because my body was just in a bit of a shock. Um, it's very scary as well. Um, but yeah, I had that, I had an episode there as well. So that wasn't great. Um, and I kind of thought that I would. Um, so they said, don't get up too quickly, which I didn't. They kind of reclined the chair um, really slowly forward. And they said, like, when you're ready, you can come off the chair and that sort of thing. And I was okay. I was a little bit dizzy, but I thought, no, I'll be okay. I'll just take deep breaths. I'll be fine. I went then went out to the waiting area. And I kind of was at the um, reception getting, like, my pack that I needed. Um, it's all, like, over in my cupboard at the moment. So you get, like, um, all this different stuff. And, like, we got it. 
and then I started going really dizzy and really kind of lightheaded and I was getting these black dots on my eyes and I thought oh I'd like not this again and it was really scary so we got that but before then when I was in the when I was in the appointment they said to me that I had to choose the colours that I wanted there was literally so many colours I didn't really know what to go for so there was like orange, blue, purple, silver, grey um, you know that sort of thing and I was very much thinking like because like orange is like my favourite colour so I was thinking oh maybe orange but then the lady said to me you know it depends if you want it to like bring attention to yourself like if you want the um, if you want the braces to stand out and I was like no not really um, so she said you can go for the silver or if you want to change it to a colour then next time you come back and we tighten the braces then you can change the colour and I was like I don't really want to go through that again so I said no I'll just stick to silver so that's what I've got now but yeah I've got the silver ones and I don't think they look too bad on me like I know that I'm struggling to kind of talk and my mouth might seem a bit like one-sided um so yeah that was that so obviously going back to the blacking out and stuff I was okay I sat down for a good 20 minutes um, and I was like drinking water and they were making sure that I was okay they injected like this um really sweet kind of um it wasn't really a liquid it was sort of like a a paste and they put it in my mouth and it was hopefully to get my blood sugars up a little bit they don't know whether that was it or not they just kind of stuck it in me and I felt a bit better after that I went all really clammy and hot and they said look take your coat off take your scarf off because I, I do wear that like all the time and she said I'll be back with you in a few minutes just stay there put your earphones have you got earphones with you I was like yeah they go with me everywhere so I put my airpods in and I was listening to my music just trying to calm down try and take deep breaths and it was it was all okay after a while and then um I went back we went in the car and then came home well not came home went to, back to college because I missed about two hours of college but overall my braces experience was really good apart from the fact that I blacked out but obviously that's not their fault that was my body just trying to cope with the different like changes um so I would say my my experience was really good um it didn't hurt whatsoever I think I just got myself in a bit of a state where I was kind of really panicking about it don't really know why um, but yeah, so if you're having braces, please don't worry about it. It's not as bad as you think because some people that I've spoken to said that um, it was really bad and it really hurt. So I was obviously like, oh no, it's going to really hurt. Um, and it really didn't. So I don't know what where they got that from. Um, they li The lady literally said to me, she was really lovely. She said, um, it's li just a man. It's going to feel like as if I'm just painting your teeth with nail varnish. And literally that's what it felt like. Um, it didn't hurt whatsoever. Um, she then had to get like these sort of like nail clippers for teeth and she cut the wire. She said, um, you'll hear like as if you've cut on your nails but you won't actually feel anything. So it was like a massive like click and then like I thought, oh, I'm going to feel something and I didn't. So it was all really good. Um, I was expecting it to hurt quite a bit. Not necessarily a lot but I was expecting a bit of pain. But it was okay and then she said, you know, if it starts hurting, which it will in the next few days. This is um, day four, whatever day ninth was. <laughs> And um, yeah, so it really wasn't that bad and they're actually getting much better now But they said like take paracetamol and ibuprofen if like you need it um, So yeah, that was that really and yes, yeah, so that's my braces experience I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, please give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't already and Yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage <laughs>